The discipline of the existing is the title that architects Flores and Prats chose for their lecture that kicked off the Youths and Lecture Series for 2019 at UMS Faculty of Built Environment in Sydney on Wednesday, January 23, 2019. The lecture focused on the design process of the Sala Beckett in Barcelona, a renovation of an old workers' cooperative into a new theatre and drama centre, and their later adaptation of this project for displaying it at La Corderie Pavilion of Venice Architecture Biennale 2018. The building, constructed in Barcelona in 1924 and abandoned for more than 30 years, interested us not to restore it but rather to take the ruin forward and make it participant, with its unfinished character of superimposed periods, in a new reality that would continue to be updated on this foundation, architects Ricardo Flores and Eva Pratt stated. For the last Venice Biennale 2018, we decided to bring a full-scale fragment of Sala Beckett into the arsenal, transforming the drama center into a scenography, resonating with its theatrical character. This process of reimagining a real building as an exhibition space inside a historic structure opened up a new dialogue with the building containing it, its columns, windows and the entire new scale. The lecture explored Flores and Pratt's approach in rehabilitating old structures for new occupations. It is a challenge the Spanish duo has frequently dealt with in the past few years as well as more recently, the studio being invited, together with Barco Leibinga, Dilas Cofidio, Renfro and N. Haita, to participate in the competition promoted by the Met Office of Campus planning to lead the transformation of the historic Metropolitan Storage Warehouse, the Met, an early 20th century masonry storage facility, into a new design hub for Met in Boston. We work with existing buildings, gradually developing from a process of observing and not from a preconceived or imposed idea of how to deal with existing structures. By approaching historic buildings this way, they acquire the role of an actor inside the project, along with the client and architect and equally as important. This contributes to the city by opening a dialogue between the building and its history, the physical and social heritage, say Flores and Prats. During their time at UNS, architects Ricardo Flores and Eva Prats also hosted a two-week urban laboratory for students of this university. Sydney is undergoing unprecedented population growth posing predictable pressures on the urban setting. The studio, entitled Building Communities, focused in Marrickville, an especially diverse, multicultural suburb in metropolitan Sydney where hundreds of new dwellings are proposed by the government to meet this demand in the next few years. According to Flores and Pratt, the challenges are many, accommodating increased densities while mitigating impacts and enhancing amenity for these urban communities. The government planning is very high level and lacking in more nuanced urban propositions that tap into the genius loci of this sub-region and the places within it. To test why the challenge of the studio was to test the capacity of this area to increase residential densities with appropriate, affordable housing while creating new communities which mix and add to that which exists. Students were asked to observe and value not just the built heritage but also the social heritage, the rich variety of cultures that coexist in a relatively small area making it a whole world within the city. One of the crucial aspects of the workshop was that the program chosen to work with the students, the same that Sydney planning office is working with for the growth of this city, said Flores and Prats. We think that much part of the success of the experience for students, guests and us, was thanks to the subject posed. The idea to work not only with areas of the city which really need a new thinking, but actually to work with a program that is at the moment being discussed and debated at the decisional levels of the government, made the workshop extremely interesting for all of us. Bringing these themes of actuality to the school classes makes the academic experience much more tense, converting the studios in the perfect place for research with freedom and innovate.